quick video update here guys this is the most efficient device so far I've ever built it's some kind of magnifying transceiver we still have wireless power the range isn't as good because these big pickup coils which turn it to normal house power current is taking away the wireless range so yeah it goes we have a signal generator 2.5 megahertz goes to a resonant capacitor bank and our voltage is 216 volts and our current is I've seen that go to 300 milliamps you know we have almost a little under 60 watts of usable power and we I mean we got power plug a light bulb in you'll see how bright it gets like look at that just wanted to do this quick video update before I tear well no, I'm not gonna ruin it I'm just gonna take all these pickup coils off which are adjustable that's the key that woo they have to be adjustable This is the primary, this is the secondary, all these are wireless pickup coils, resonant caps, wireless light. We'll run an even bigger light. We'll run this guy. This is 100 water, half intensity, because we're kicking out 50 watts. There we go. Guys, this is a breakthrough. This is absolutely a breakthrough. A 50 watt bulb, and we're only consuming... 8.6 watts. We're running a 50 watt bulb. And here's the signal generator. I unplug it. Everything will go off. There's no trickery anywhere. This is a hollow tube. Just a PVC pipe. This is my light bulbs. Signal generator, pickup coil. Little bridge rectifier I made. Signal generator, nothing. No trickery, no nothing, just my tools. Empty. Nothing underneath the table. This device is very close to being self running. I could do it right now. I just need to convert the power so to safely run this. I'll plug it back in. Turn it on. Tune for. You see it get brighter as I tune. And if I get too far out of tune, it will go out. See? There it comes on, goes off. I go to 2500, it's the brightest. That's amazing. This is this is my most powerful device yet. Whoa. Oh, it can even run a motor, I'll show that. I have to find where the motor went. This signal generator can only kick out 10 watts at most. It goes through this system, which is tuned to the sun. You'll then get over 50 watts out depending on your pickup coil configuration whoa give it a little bit of a kick this is a 120 volt drill motor that came out of a drill see it's got torque 
it's going. And plug the signal generator and it will go off. See? No form of trickery whatsoever. A bit of a kick, and then she goes. What else can I run? I don't really have anything else to run besides light bulbs and a small motor. I have this incandescent, which uses a lot of power. Something interesting happens with this guy. Whoa, he gets bright for a second and then goes out. Hmm, huh, this really won't light at all now. Maybe I blew the filament. Yeah, filament's busted. That initial spike from the caps might have busted it. Oh, wait, nope, he's going. Wait, maybe I can tune it? No, oop, no, something's happening. Maybe I can tune it? No, not quite yet. Too current hungry. Hmm, interesting. Soon, though. That's a lot of juice. 50 watts. I love these light bulbs. Again, we'll do one last power reading. Oh, I'll show you can run this LED light. So see, it's on, plugged in normally. I unplug my light. I'll plug in my, my LED work light. And he comes on, full brightness, because <laughs> he's less than 50 watts. These step-down coils, ooh, it's sensitive to tuning, see? I touch the coil, it fades. I bet I can tune it even brighter. Yeah, that's full brightness right now. Well, it's safe to say I did it. I figured it out. Everything has to be adjustable. Secondary coil goes that way. Other one goes this way. And you need amplifier diodes, which are these. You have to have these on the end of each coil, otherwise it will not work. You need these. Amplifier diodes, fast switching. Anyway, I'll plug him back in normally. We'll do one last power reading. Two hundred seventy four milliamps at two hundred and five volts. And that's real power. Passes a twelve volt load test. Passes a nine volt load test. It'll obviously pass overload the one point five volt battery test. And yeah, this project was a breakthrough. I'll post how to build this thing in full detail. Oh, and just something interesting, while it's shorting out, we still have wireless power. Even when it's shorting out. Like, look at this. We still have wireless power while it's shorting out. This system 
doesn't drain itself in any way. It just duplicates the energy as long as you have those amplifier diodes at the, at the end of each coil. I can't get over how cool this is. Cool, more to come soon. Finish the video with running this light bulb. Got him lit, and he's still lit. No power reductions at all. At night, I can light up my whole room with this stuff. Unplug the signal gen, or I just shut it off. It goes out. Comes back on, he's not even tuned. Here we go. Okay, more to come soon.